Hey everybody, I am Hall Carboni. Sorry I couldn't make it to open house tonight. Had some plans that I was unable to rearrange. And so instead of getting me in person, you get the digital version of me. I am sure this video is gonna be absolutely thrilling. Thank you so much for coming out. There are a few things that I do want to mention tonight. I hope that as you came in, an ambassador or somebody gave you this, the course syllabus. I am definitely not going to read it to you. You should know how to read if you have a kid who is a senior in high school. So you can look at this. If you have questions, feel free to email me. My email address is pcarboni at hoover.k12.al.us. There you go. There is also a K Carboni at Spain Park. Please make sure you send it to P Carboni. We don't like getting each other's emails. There are still a couple of things on the syllabus I do want to talk about, even though you could read it. The main things are calculators and the grading policy. Let's start with the grading policy. In regular calculus, grades will be given by categories. That means uh, assignments will be broken up into different groups. The groups will be tests and projects, quizzes, and then homeworks and homework, homeworks, homework and classwork. Tests and projects will count for 70% of the final grade. Quizzes count for 20% of the final grade, and homework and classwork will combine to account for 10% of the final grade. Because the class is modeled after a college calculus class, I'm going to not exactly mirror their calculator policy, but I'm going to be very close to it. Students in regular calculus will not be allowed to use calculators, or should I say graphing calculators, on my test. We can, however, use a scientific calculator. I do have a classroom set of these. There are 10 of them. And the scientific calculator that I think is the easiest to use is this one. It's the TI-30XS. It's not that expensive if you want to buy one of your own. They're between 10 and 15 bucks on Amazon. I don't know how much they are on, at Walmart. I do have a classroom set though, so if you don't want to go buy one, that's fine. They can use one here. The only downside to that is when they have homework, they will not be able to take one of my calculators home. That said, everything should be doable without a calculator. I'm not going to give them anything that requires a calculator. The other thing that I want to show you tonight and talk to you about is my website. So let's look at my website for a few minutes and I will show you how that works and all the tools that I have there for you and your son or daughter. Okay, here we are on my website. If you click on my name from the faculty list on the school website, this is where it will take you. Uh, there is not a whole lot of information here that the students will need after the first day of school. However, you can come here and find the course syllabi. There is a, a PDF version of the textbook right here as well. If you click on the general calculus syllabus, you can find the individual topics that we will be going over this year and they are pretty much the exact same as what you would see on a college calculus one syllabus uh, with the exception of a few additional things that are intro or beginning calculus two topics the only other part of my website that i wanted to show you is my calendar because that is where i give information to my students everything we do is on my calendar so let's click on the AB calendar, for example. You can also see my regular calculus and the BC calendar here as well. But if you look at the AB calendar, you will see that everything we've done this year is on my website. So let's just say for whatever reason you wanted to look at last Tuesday on the 16th and see what we did in class. Well, if you click on it, you can see, zoom in for you, you can see that we did in verses in class. We finished up a worksheet that was actually handed out the day before and homework is posted and everything I give them in class will also be linked as a PDF on my website. So if anything gets lost, they can very easily go to my website and reprint it. The other advantage to this is if students are absent, regardless of the reason, whether it's excused or unexcused, they can always go to my website and find the information that they need. So they should never have to come to me to ask me what they missed in class. It's always going to be on my website and I never take it down. So barring any technological disaster, things will always be on my website for the whole year. If you want to be an overachiever, you could even go back to last year and see what we did last year. I don't know why you would want to do that. But there is my calendar and I basically wanted to make sure everybody was well aware of that. The only other, the other thing on my calendar that is very useful, that I think is useful, is these class notes. I do not use a whiteboard. 
I use a digital version of it. It's called a smart board. And I, that allows me to save everything that I write as a PDF and load it on my web page. So here's the beginning of first period. That's what the one's for. And if you scroll down, you can actually see the actual problems we did in class. So again, if you are absent, this isn't really a substitute for being in class, but it certainly is better than nothing. You can come here and see exactly what we did in class and maybe be able to tie up any loose ends by reading this. If you keep scrolling, you'll eventually see here's where second periods notes begin. And so notes will always be available. I think this is a very good resource for students if they're absent or even if they're present and they want to go back and kind of get a double dose of of what we did in class. Maybe they zoned out for a few minutes in class, needed to go back and check some notes. This will always be on my website. So there is my calendar. Wanted to point that out to you. The other part of my website that would be useful is this one, which I have already talked about, where you can see the syllabus and any rules sheets or um, other notes sheets and stuff that may come in handy later on in the year. Well, there you go. Thank you so much for paying attention or sleeping. I can't see you. I don't know what you're doing. The last thing is that if you are on social media and you would like to get some announcements from me on social media, I am on Twitter and Instagram. Those are the only two. And you can follow me at Math Gnome. There you go. That's me. I am the Math Gnome. I will send out announcements periodically. Sometimes things occur to me when I'm away from a computer and it's not convenient for me to edit my website. And in those rare occasions, I will send it out through Instagram and Twitter. Okay, that should be everything. I hope I covered everything that you expected to hear from a teacher. If not, and if you have questions, again, email me, pcarboni at hoover.k12.al.us. There you go. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.